Now, most scientists believe that today greenhouse gas emissions are driving global warming, but that wasn't always the case. With us today in studio is Professor Achim Brauer from the German Research Centre for Geosciences in Potsdam. Welcome to the show and thank you for joining us. Now, you are an expert in solar activity that's happened in the past, specifically 2,800 years ago is what your study is focusing on. How does that differentiate from the report? Actually, what we are doing is we are looking at uh, natural archives. That means uh, lake deposits and tree rings. And we try to find out uh, in times when humans could not measure temperature and precipitation, how the sun was affecting, uh, affecting the climate. So how exactly do you do that? You study lake sediments and yes. somehow or another come to the conclusion uh, that yes. it didn't. OK, from the lake, we, we could do both. Actually, we have new isotopes where we can see the direct traces of the sun. So we know that 2,800 years ago, there was a long period, 150 year long period of a very weak sun. And at the same time, we can look at the composition of these layers, these seasonal layers, uh, which are a millimetre thick. So we look in the microscope and then we can find out about different seasons and, and climate in the seasons. So what we got from this is that especially the spring, seasons were very windy. So we had an increase in wind activity. So changes in atmospheric circulation at around the time when the sun was weak. OK, how far can you go back? In principle, we can go back 10,000 years, 11,000 years. So as long as the present day warm, uh, present uh, warm period was. OK, well, uh, let's go back then to uh, the more distant past, the, the Little Ice Age, which started in the 16th century. And in our report, it said that um, the dip in temperature had nothing to do with uh, solar activity, but rather volcanic activity. How do you feel about that? I partly agree and partly disagree, because uh, we know that there were uh, a number of strong volcanic eruptions. But what we know from our investigations is that the climatic effect of these eruptions did not last longer than three or maximum four to five years. So that would not explain a really extended period of cold climate which we had during the Little Ice Age. And actually, that was t the reason why we went another uh, to look at another period of solar minima 2,800 years ago, because there were not so many volcanic eruptions. OK, now we can't control volcanic activity, we cannot control the sun, but what about ourselves and curbing CO2 emissions? Um, I mean, if, if you just would like to discuss a little bit what this is meaning for the future, I can say that we know that this has been happening in the, in the past in this way, so that the strong sun had a very strong impact on the climate. What is in the future, we do not know because of these uh, greenhouse gas emissions. And uh, so we have uh, two different effects. And I think it's uh, very important to reduce these emissions to keep the system in a, in a say, natural state of variability. How optimistic are you that we're going to be able to limit our CO2 emissions? Um, as a person who is, uh, likes to learn from the past, and if I look in the last 15 years, uh, I can say that it was not really successful. A lot of people would like to have reduced the emissions, but at presently we are at a stage where uh, we have CO2 emissions as high as never before. So I think we should really look to alternative ways as well. And I think if the uh, uh, energy change in, in, in our country will be successful, this might be a signal for other countries as well, so, as well, so that I'm, say, carefully optimistic that we can change something in the future. Carefully optimistic. Achim Brower, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, welcome.